continue our morning series through the book of Acts. Last week we looked at the end of Acts chapter 1 as it emphasized God's electing purpose in election and rejection with the apostles and the significance of that for the rest of the book. Today we look more specifically at the apostolic office and calling as the apostles are a main character, set of characters in the historical narrative of the book of Acts. We're just going to read two verses, but aware of the broader context already from the previous ser- sermons. We're going to look at Acts 1, verses 7 to 8, and then verses 21 to 22. So the first part of the reading will be verses 7 to 8 of Acts chapter 1. I remind you as I read that these are the words of God himself. He, that is Jesus, said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons, that the Father has fixed by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. And now down to verses 21 to 22. This is the Apostle Peter. So one of the men who have accompanied us during all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us Beginning from the baptism of John until the day when he was taken up from us, one of these men must become with us a witness to his resurrection. Thus far, the word of God. Let us now pray. Oh, Lord, we thank you for your wisdom and your unfolding plan. We thank you for these 12 apostles whom you called and appointed while you were on earth, Lord Jesus And now, Lord, we read of your power and work through them. Help us today as we consider that special office and calling that they had, the mighty works that you did through them.